China is taking on a massive challenge with the South to North Water Diversion Project. It's the biggest water transfer project ever attempted. They're building thousands of kilometers of canals, aqueducts, and tunnels to move water from the wetter south to the dry industrial north. Why are they doing this? Northern China, including Beijing, faces severe water shortages. The government hopes this project will solve that problem by redirecting fresh water from the south. However, the project is incredibly expensive and comes with significant environmental concerns. It involves altering natural waterways and could disrupt local ecosystems. Let's see how they plan to do this. The South to North Water Diversion Project in China is the biggest water transfer project ever attempted. It's designed to draw waters from rivers in the south and supply it to the drier northern regions. This massive undertaking has already been half a century in the making, from its initial concept to the start of construction. The entire project is expected to be completed by 2050 and will divert 44.8 billion cubic meters of water each year to the North's population centers. Once completed, the project will connect four of China's main rivers, the Yangtze, Yellow River, Huahe, and Huaihe. This requires building three main diversion routes that run south to north across the eastern, central, and western parts of the country. The total cost of the project is expected to be around $62 billion, which is more than twice the cost of China's controversial Three Gorges Dam. North China has always been a hub for population, industry, and agriculture. With all three sectors growing rapidly, the per capita share of this region's limited water resources has kept shrinking. This situation has historically led to the overexploitation of groundwater. Urban and industrial development often get priority, leaving agriculture to suffer. This imbalance has caused severe weather shortages in rural areas. Additionally, excessive groundwater use has been linked to land subsidence in the region's frequent sandstorms. The South to North Water Diversion Project aims to address these issues by diverting nearly 45 billion cubic meters of water annually from the south to the north. The idea for this ambitious project was first proposed by the late Chairman Mao Zedong in 1952. He envisioned it as a solution to the growing water shortages in cities like Beijing and Tianjin, and in northern provinces such as Hebei, Henan, and Shandong. Fast forward 50 years to August 23, 2002, the project was approved by the State Council after extensive research, planning, and discussion. Work began on the eastern route in December of that year, and construction on the central route started a year later. A special limited liability company was established to oversee the construction, operation, and maintenance of the main project. Each province involved in the project was required to set up a water supply company to manage local administration and infrastructure. The eastern route of the South to North Water Diversion Project was initially planned to supply water to Shandong Province in the northern part of Jiangsu by 2007, a year ahead of schedule. However, it faced delays. The water for this route is diverted from a major branch of the Yangtze River near Yangzhou City. It travels along existing river channels to the Weishan Mountains in Shandong, then crosses the Yellow River via a tunnel, eventually flowing to Tianjin. When completed, this diversion will be slightly over 1,155 kilometers long. It involves constructing 23 new pumping stations with a combined capacity of 453.7 megawatts in the first stage alone. These will complement the seven existing stations, which will also be rehabilitated and upgraded. This segment of the project includes nearly 9 kilometers of tunnels, running from the outlet of Dongping Lake to the inlet of Weilin Canal. This includes a 634-meter-long siphon section and two 9.3-meter diamond horizontal tunnels 70 meters beneath the Huangbei Riverbed. Several key projects of the eastern route have already been completed. However, progress was delayed due to farm and industrial pollution, which threatened the quality of the water. The completion date was pushed to 2013. Construction of the central route began in December 2003. It was initially planned to be finished before the Beijing Olympics in August 2008 to provide the city with drinking water. However, by September 2008, only 307 kilometers of the central route had been completed. The central route diverts water from the Jiangjing Ko Reservoir on the Han River. The new canals run near the western end on the Huanghuai High Plain, 
flowing through Henan and Hebei provinces to Beijing, covering a total distance of 1,267 kilometers. The nearby city of Changjin will also draw water from the trunk line near Sushi near Hebei province. Initially designed to transfer 9.5 billion cubic meters of water annually, this amount is expected to increase to 13 to 14 billion cubic meters by 2030. The construction includes two tunnels, each 8.5 meters in diameter and 7 kilometers long, with a flow design of 500 cubic meters a second. Due to declining reserves in the Danjing Ko Reservoir, there's been a suggestion to draw additional water from the Three Gorges Reservoir to meet the demands of this part of the project. Currently, water from the Han River has not yet reached the completed canal. Instead, the canal is supplied by various reservoirs in the Hebei province. The Central Route project was initially scheduled for completion by 2010, but has been postponed to 2014. This delay is due to environmental concerns and the need to expand the Danjingko Reservoir. Construction of the Western Route, which involves working on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau at altitudes between 3,000 and 5,000 meters above sea level, was scheduled to begin in 2010. China has reserved 53.87 billion yuan, 7.9 billion US dollars, specifically for the South to North Water Diversion Project. Of this amount, the central government has budgeted 15.42 billion yuan treasury bonds accounting for 10.65 billion yuan and local governments are contributing 7.99 billion yuan. Loans will cover the remaining 19.81 billion yuan. The construction costs have significantly increased due to rises in commodity prices, changes in national policy, and shifts in the project's investment structure. So far, close to 31 billion yuan of the reserve funds have been spent on the construction of the eastern 5.6 billion yuan and central routes 24.8 billion yuan. The overall South to North Water Diversion Project is a monumental effort to address China's water scarcity issues, involving extensive planning, significant financial investment, and overcoming numerous engineering challenges. Environmental Concerns of the Water Diversion Project Similar to China's other mega-project, the Three Gorges Dam, the South to North Water Diversion Project has sparked numerous environmental concerns. Key issues include the loss of antiquities, the displacement of people, and the destruction of pasture land. Additionally, plans for further industrialization along the project routes pose a serious risk of pollution to the diverted water. To help mitigate this threat, the Chinese government has allocated just over $80 million in the eastern Yangtze province to build treatment facilities. However, estimates suggest that the actual cost of these facilities is more than double this figure. In total, around 260 projects have been initiated to reduce pollution and ensure that the water in the diversion areas meets minimum drinking standards. Key Players in the Water Diversion Project The South to North Water Transfer Project Company is the main project owner. Pre-project construction work has been carried out by Hangzhang Water Resources and Hydropower. The project's management involves several key organizations the State Development and Planning Commission, the Ministry of Water Resources, the Ministry of Construction, the State Environment Protection Administration, and China International Engineering Consultant Corporation. GCW Consulting is providing infrastructure development plans. The Heihe Water Resources Commission and Xianjin Hydroelectric Investigation and Design Institute are responsible for the design and planning of the Eastern Route. The Changjiang Water Resources Commission is in charge of the Middle Route, and the Yellow River Conservancy Commission is overseeing the Western Route. Construction on the Eastern Route is being carried out by Hangjiang Water Resources and Hydropower, while the Middle Route is being built by Dangjiang Co Water Resources and Hydroelectric. Over the 50-year period of extensive planning and research needed to transform Mao's initial concept into the current project, many of China's ministries, organizations, and institutes have been involved. Their collective efforts aim to ensure the project's success despite the numerous challenges and concerns it faces. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.